day two at Dimdex 2022 in Doha, Qatar. We start today's video report with Pakistani naval defense industry and naval programs. We are now on the booth of Pakistani company GIDS with the CEO, Mr. Kamal. Uh, GIDS uh, stands for Global Industrial and Defense Solutions. Uh, it's a 14-year-old company and uh, we are representing about seven research and development industries in Pakistan. Yeah, the total rate was a uh, four or five year old project and uh, that was tasked to us by the Navy. And uh, the main objective was to develop a solution before they were uh, getting them from the West and the objective was to indigenize some of the technology. So it's, uh, the concept is that it has, uh, I mean, a draggable uh, sonar uh, with small acoustic sensors to be dragged by ships or submarines is 400 meters in length. And now it is being uh, deployed on Pakistan, the submarines and Pakistan ships. So this Harba is a, a new uh, induction into the export. And this product was uh, developed for the Pakistan Navy primarily, obviously. And uh, it's a cruise missile having a range of 290 kilometers, uh, anti-ship, uh, also uh, land attack capabilities as well. So uh, first part was inducting into the Pakistan Navy for the azimuth class. Uh, it has been uh, deployed so far on that and now uh, the objective is to put it up for exports once the requirements of the Navy have been met. We are now on the booth of ASFAT with uh, Mr. Sari, Business Development Manager, to discuss the PN Milgem project for Pakistan. This one is derived from our original based on Milgram Corvette for Pakistan Navy. And there are a few changes when we look at it. The length is approximately 180 meter. The deployment of the ship approximately 3,000 tons. We have the 76 millimeter gun here, Otomelara, and also we have the MBD systems, surface -to air missile, and we have the tracker for all the air threat and also surface threat. And we have the 3D radar, and also electronic support measurement system, navigational. For the surface-to-surface -surface missile, we have the Pakistan national-made guided missile, which we saw. And the backside, we have two secondary guns from Aselsan's. And the, it's a new point defense missile system we call as Aselsan Gökdeniz. Actually, we will get this one for the Turkish Navy. There is a Barbaros class modernization program. We will establish uh, our Gökdeniz here. As you see, uh, right, uh, whatever we learned from the Turkish Milgram Corvette, we will update it and upgrade our combat management system and the other requirement of Pakistan Navy, put all of them is in this Pakistan Milgram Corvette project. And also it is same, Turkish Navy also has another project like Istanbul class. It is almost same. And one of them is customized for Pakistan Navy. Istanbul class is customized for Turkish Navy. And that's why whatever we get the technical spec or and also environmental condition of that region, because our region has their own different things, like Pakistan Navy. You know that the humidity is different, it's a tropical zone, and that's why some changes in the backside, in the bottom side, which needed for the Pakistan Navy, we updated all of them. We are now on the stand of Patria, a Finnish company who's showcasing a future sonar system. This is our brand new sonar system. It's a dual toe active passive sonar. We have two systems packed together in one, uh, one C container. Uh, we have a variable depth sonar system, VDS, and um, toad array sonar, DAS, in one package. And we have uh, both active and passive operation mode and bystanding mode as well. We have developed this for the Finnish new upcoming Corvette class, uh, so-called Squadron 2020 ships, and we have already sold this to, to the integrator. We have optimized the performance for the shallow waters and the Baltic Sea. It's very difficult to operate from, from anti-submarine perspective. There are quite many places the, the submarine to hide. We haven't started to see trials yet, but they are coming pretty soon.
So we are we are in the middle of the program at the moment.